Up next, DJ Creole, the exciting DJ, against Zolisa Magusha. Strawweight fight over eight rounds. DJ Creel is the Gauteng champion, and Zolisa Magusha is the Eastern Cape champion. Introducing the second of our two fighters, he is DJ Creel. Well, the exciting DJ Creel, trained by Colin Nathan, but he's the same way. Even as DJ Creel walks into the ring, I want to read this tweet uh, from Rema Bena who says, Mzansi has talent. True, Rema Bena, true. Sipo Pindo is talking about the Mugadi fight and Changwe talking about Jablani saying watch out for Jablani. And then Loaz in Zobong was saying great lineup of young stars for today's boxing at Emperor's Palace fight action. Keep them coming, Leas Duncan. Interactive, keep them coming. Well, brilliant stuff there. Well, just go toe to toe with him and try and get back, back in the fight. Because you're not, you're not out boxing, you're not out fighting. Uh, that's better from Creel. Mapusha is standing right in front of DJ Creel. And DJ Creel is punching him the way you should fight a guy who stands in front of you like that. Oh. Good left hand up from Creel. These guys are champions. You've got a Gauteng oh, champion and an Eastern Cape champion. These guys have done their prelim stuff. Go to the corner. So Go to the this corner. Is a Creel's right hand just falls short with Magusha right in front of him. That's one thing I've noticed from oh. round one. It's very difficult for DJ Creel to miss because Magusha just stands right in the way of fire. Yeah, Magusha, if we have to fault him, defensively. Oh, look at that slow mo action. DJ Creel. Those little, those little flurries of punches, those little sugar I landed stuff. And it really worked well. Box. Good right hand there from DJ Creel. It took him a bit of time to settle down, work out the opponent in front of him, at least the first two rounds. But Umar Kusha oh. simply has no defense. He blocks punches with his head, which is wrong. Oh. DJ Creel is on the attack, and Magusha's badly hurt. What he is doesn't a have a mouth guard. He's in the first three rounds, and he's allowing Creel to dictate. Brilliant right hand from Creel. Oh, no. But he's having a good round. He had a good round in round five, having another good round. Hands the right hand. Magusha seems to have lost that snap and there's no speed. He was fighting. Oh, slow mo action there. DJ Creel lands a punch. Oh, we've got six minutes left, round seven and eight. Creel. Oh, and again. No matter what happens here, we have seen two really good prospects this all goes well for the future of our boxing it does yeah magusha's come to fight there's no doubt about that we know the guys from east london come to fight but so far dj Creel in this part of the fight seems to be getting ahead Creel hasn't done sufficient work magusha's in a throwing punches to magusha's body Krill hasn't done that yet a but lot. Magusha putting on the pressure, but he's not landing. Oh, there he lands a nice right hand. Oh, good punches from Krill. One back for you from Magusha. As soon as Krill starts throwing punches back, he's too quick. Good jab, good jab there from Krill. Oh, brilliant combinations. Round eight, the final round. These two little champions. 
So Lisa it's Magusha, the amazing conditioning of both these fighters. They've hardly slowed down over the eight rounds. Well, it's been a brilliant fight. I mean, the first three rounds was all Magusha. And then the next couple of what rounds was Skrill. And then they evened it out. And now it's Skrill again. But on the seesaw fight, but Skrill looking good towards the end of the fight. It is in that movement. And these are the smallest guys in boxing. Who says the heavyweights are the most exciting? Ten seconds. DJ Creel. So Lisa Magusha going toe to toe. Brilliant stuff. Well, what Emperor stands up. They cheer. What a Two fight. fighters. Look at the beauty of our sport. The sport of kings. Ah, the sport of boxing. Brian, just minutes ago, just seconds yeah. ago, they were each other wanted in the to face. chop each other's <laughs> head off. Immediately the bell sounds. They hard raise their hands into the air. Even promoter That's Rodney Berman steps up in... Like the people said on Twitter, that is what boxing is all about. But you need the prospects to knock each other out. And then you need the guys at this level. And then from here, you got a South African championship level. These are two provincial champions. Dylan Knight on hashtag SSBoxing says, one of the best local fights in recent times. Promising outlook for both warriors. Respect to both gentlemen. Lunga looking at this action on hashtag SS Boxing. Lunga said just towards the end of the fight, Makusha needs a knockdown to win this fight. Oh, there we see the slow mo action in rounds being thrown. And yes, after the first three fights, two towels and a knockout, we needed a real fight like this. Boxing is booming, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time this evening, we go to the scorecards. And I think before I read those results to you, a nice big round of applause for Tolisa Magusha and DJ Creel. Well done, guys. It was scheduled for eight. It went the distance. And let's go to the scorecards. All three judges scored it unanimously. Judge Tony Nyangiwe scored the fight 77 points to 75, as did Judge Yap for Nivenhazen. Judge Sastam Lashi scored the fight 78 points to 74, all in favor of, on a unanimous points decision from Melvin East Houteg. DJ! He raises his arms up in the air. He wins by a unanimous points decision. His name is DJ Creel.